When it looks like I have failed, failure does not mean I'm a failure. It does not mean that I've not succeeded. Failure does not mean I have accomplished nothing. It does mean that I have learned something. Failure does not mean I have been a fool. It does not, it does mean that I had enough faith to experiment. Failure does not mean I've been disgraced. It does mean I dared to try. Failure does not mean I don't have it. It does mean I have to do something in a different way. Failure does not mean I am inferior. It does mean I am not perfect. Failure does not mean I've wasted my time. It does mean I have an excuse to start over. Failure does not mean I should give up. It does mean I must try harder. Failure does not mean I'll never make it. It does mean I need more practice and patience. Failure does not mean you have abandoned me. It does mean you have a better idea. Amen. Welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. All right. So I'm going to say this once and once only. Uh, uh, I am the sole founder, and in the martial arts world, it would be the title of Soke of All Terrain Texas Crossing Internal Tactical Arts Collective, also known as ATX ITAC. Now, I have been using the ATX ITAC name as my consulting practice, international consulting practice, since 1996. So, that's it. All of these videos, everything that I am putting out uh, is a gift to my students around the world, their students, and also the general public. So enjoy, and when I, when, when I explain this to you, we are above and beyond just the internet. There's forms of communication that uh, are outside of the space-time continuum. So, so uh, in the field of you know physics, quantum mechanics, you, you can. There's there's a lot more involved with that. Anyway, so welcome again today to Canada Travels Texas, and today I want to share a uh, tactical tip that many of the senior members of the ATX ITAC family, including myself, will practice on a regular basis. And it is called the Scottish Shower. Okay? The Scottish Shower. Now, uh, what is interesting because I actually am, uh, I am a, a, a laird or a lord of Scotland because I own land in Glencoe, Scotland, which is actually a wildlife preserve. And, uh, we, we, along with some other people, bought some land, and it keeps people from building upon it, whether it's a parking lot or a strip mall or whatever, so that the uh, wild animals can continue to stay. And it's an ecological uh, preservation thing. It, it will influence human beings. Anyway, so, Scottish showers. What is it? Basically, there's very little information about Scottish showers. And what it is is... Um, you can go from a Scottish shower and then go to, let's say, just a regular cold shower, okay? But Scottish showers are basically you take a, a shower. Now, I have a shower head that comes out as a waterfall. You can buy that online. They're fantastic. Uh, so it's, it's more natural like you're under a waterfall. That's at a regular temperature for you, which is um, like warm. Well, not hot, just a regular warm shower. So you shower, and before you leave the shower, you turn the thing to just cold and then it'll shock you and it'll uh, cause your your immune system your central nervous system your peripheral nervous system to basically in a way reset and uh, it's fantastic now uh, eventually you can even get in the summertime you just take cold showers which is a Scottish shower now there's some uh, legendary uh, <laughs> reasons of why it's called a Scottish shower. It's uh, probably because in Scotland there were times when there was not enough hot sh water for bathing. The hot water was used for other things like disinfecting stuff or whatever. And so 
when people took their baths, they couldn't the entire time have the warm water. So they would start with the regular warm water, and then at the end, it was not a choice. But, as you know, Scottish Highlanders are legendary among uh, human beings. You know, we are the strongest and the most endurant endurant and uh, if there's a word endurant of uh, all of the other uh, groups of people in the surrounding area was high le highest level of endurance and strength regardless the harshness of uh, the external environment and here in Texas we do have uh, relatively harsh conditions you know so anyway Scottish showers and uh, yeah try it out uh, it is. It will actually make your reflexes faster. It will. Uh, a lot of people in the NoFap community. And last video, I, I mentioned about that from a tactical combat standpoint, uh, have adopted it to to keep themselves from quote unquote relapsing. It, look that up online. I'm not going to go into that. There's so much material online on that. Okay. So another tactical tip I wanted to share with everyone. It's a nice little reminder. I started my martial arts. Uh, training in 1977 at the age of nine and uh, my first taekwondo instructor uh, taught us you know we were kids to um, like okay back in the day televisions mostly did not have remote controls and if they did they they clicked okay back at that time and so most of them had dials they're like little dials you know like a there's a it's kind of hard to explain for people nowadays so he told us that instead of getting up out of our seats to change the channel if we're watching television, if you're able to just stretch or let your feet out and use your toes, your toes, to change the channel. And also, like if you're walking around your room and you want to turn the light off, pick one foot up and turn the light off and on on the wall. That you can still do. It's a lot easier now. Nowadays, instead of switches, you have these buttons. And then practice doing that because in taekwondo there's a lot of kicks etc but the point is not to kick it's control and balance so you're practicing using your feet as hands okay that's another tactical tip that is part of the atx itac collective atx itac is the best of all and the worst of none all right, so today we're going to go on foot. We'll be traveling to the local herbal apothecary. Anyway, the, the herbal, it's called the herb bar or herb store. We'll find out when we get there, okay? I, I, I live here, so I don't really, I just walk there. And uh, we're going to pick up some, um, some CBD oil and some other things. CBD oil, you can look that up online. It's a derivative of, of, of uh, anyway, just look it up, all right? So it should be, it's currently legal in all 50 states. Uh, it is from the ground, so. All right, let's head out with Max. All right, before we head out, this just came in. It's a great book idea if you can get an access, a copy of it. It's Baird T. Spaulding's Life and Teachings of the Masters of the Far East, and that actually includes Jesus Christ, the historic Jesus Christ. Not uh, Hollywood's version of it or church doctrine version of it. What really happened? And so there's four or five, five volumes, Life and Teachings. And this is a quote from the series. There is no question, but these people have brought the light through the long ages and they prove it. Uh, by their daily life and works that this light does exist just as it did thousands of years ago. So Bear T. Spaulding's descriptions of his Far East travels have played a very important role in introducing the Western world the knowledge that there are many masters who are assisting and guiding the destinies of mankind. His encounters with masters present a dramatic unfoldment of spiritual teachings and episodes unparalleled in all Western literature. So, for those English speakers, 
this is a real good, really, really good uh, resource. Okay? All right, let's head out. Okay, we're on our way. Look at the sky, man. Wow, look at that sun. Woo, hey, Max. All right, buddy. Woo. You know he went, came across the street by himself. No, 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 but a good thing he didn't get hit. It's good. He knows. He's big. He just came over. He crossed the street by himself. To me. To me. All right. Well, he's all right. Here, will you grab him? Yes. All right. Wow, now we're in the shade. Tell you what, the shade is like 10 degrees cooler than when we were out in the sun. At least 10 degrees. It's like it feels air conditioned here. So here in Austin in Central Texas, there's that kind of a effect where there's a huge difference between the sun out there when you're in, in, in the shade. Some places is not like that. there, here's our first food mart where I buy my Texas Lotto ticket to support Texas. Yeah, oh, there's a book by a guy named, is it Jim or Tim? Tim! Is it Tim? Tim Beaton. Esoteric stuff, and it's, uh, it's titled, what is it? T Psychic Time Traveler, right? Space-time memory transfer. And he's getting a group of people together to use psychic time travel to find the winning lotto numbers in advance. <laughs> so you can get your lotto tickets there. So here's Regal Ravioli. We ate there, right, last time with Max? Uh -huh. Oh, we need to cross? Where do we cross? We're going to the airport? Yeah. No, we have to go all the way to Mary. Oh, we got to go all the way to Mary. Okay. Here's Lunar Pizza. All right, hey guys, look at you. Lunar pizza, baby. So maybe we'll eat somewhere here. Are we gonna pass the pet store first? No, right? Are we gonna pass the pet store first? Okay. So as you can see, this place here is called Cricket, Austin, Texas. So Austin Fate, Fate and Smoke and they sell CBD oil here. So today, we will not be going to the herb bar because it's farther away. And it's too, it's kind of hot. It's kind of hot for Max. <laughs> All right, so look, look at it. Look at, there's smoke, there's vape smoke. Now, I don't recommend vape, vape smoke because it puts uh, stuff in your lungs. Uh, and I'm not recommending CBD oil either, but if you have pains, there it is, CBD oil with Homer Simpson. All right, so obviously if it was illegal, they wouldn't have a big sign flashing like that. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Allison? Hey, look, this guy grew a mustache just like me. Check this out. That's Max. Here he is. He grew a mustache just like me, man. Yeah. Or I just... It's easy because I just shave everything except my upper lip. We are at Austin Vape and Smoke. So sometimes they have CBD here. We've never been here before. This is my first time. It's brand new. They have to take crypto. Woohoo! Yeah, you want to give him some CBD dog bone? Look at that. But it has wheat. You don't, you're trying not to give him wheat, right? It's okay. A little bit's okay and see how he does on it. Oh no, they have the oil too. You can okay, give them, the oil. okay, here's the CBD oil. Check it this place out, pain. man. It I love it. Pain and inflammation. Yeah, yeah, baby, look at you got the astronaut. We've got local artwork. Maybe we could oh that's nice stuff. Some local artwork. Look. Maybe I should start selling at a lower price my my stuff. So of course here you have all this vape and smoke. Oh, cool. So, as well. So, very nice. Uh, 210 Silicone one? In case you break. In case you break it, huh? That's it won't great. break. It won't break. Okay. 
I just want to make one moat. We're not advocating smoking marijuana at all, okay? <laughs> right? We're lovingly stoned productions. I mean, you f get the effects of marijuana by watching our, our, our media products. Right, Allison? Yes. Yeah. Is that right, Max? Max? What does Max say? Yes. So, as far as we know, in all 50 states right now, the CBD oil is legal. What it is, is the extraction of a temp, basically a temp. It's hemp oil, right? And so uh, hemp has been used for thousands, hundreds, thousands of years uh, for making clothing and medicinal things, type things. And uh, so it's a really good thing that you can try. It's, and, but always check with your, your physician, especially if you're on some medication or you're going through some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, procedure or therapy or you're doing an allopathic medical care, okay? You need to check with them. All right. All right, maybe some dog biscuits. Oil for dogs. Yes, this but is all dog. You have dog oil biscuits with the no oil. And like, you mean just squirt it in his food. food. That's a, that's true. Austin. Even the weird look weird. The W is missing. Is that funny? Here you go. You got a meteor here. And that's the big magical. Vinci. Dude, how long has this been, this been open? I want to say five years. Five years? We didn't even know, Allison. We could have come here all, like, Maybe last five years. Yeah. This is awesome. Look at that green thing. Hey, Cheech and Chong up in smoke. That's in Los Angeles thing, Allison's culture right there. Isn't that right? <laughs> we have it here. All right, thanks again for joining us for this quick little trip to uh, the local apothecary. <laughs> this is uh, Austin, what is this place? Vape and Smoke. Yes, sir. And uh, all right, next time we might go to the herb bar because I think we can get what we want here. All right. Oh, by the way, for those of you who I mentioned a little bit in the South by Southwest episode about cryptocurrency. So this is a <laughs> crypto cur or digital currency uh, ATM. So BTC stands for Bitcoin Cash, LTC stands for Litecoin Cash, and ETH is Ethereum. I assume the traditional Bitcoin is, is going to take, you know, they, they take that. But you can buy using. So once again, thanks for joining us. All right, see you later. Scottish Showers Tactic using your feet to turn off and off lights, and our little trip to Austin Vape and Smoke. It's been open for five years.